Welcome to Shane Bamboni's Aiming System, Part 2. I sure hope you enjoy this video. Today, we're going to cover a brand new lesson, and I'm hoping this thing will really, really improve your game. But first, I need you to like and subscribe and keep me motivated. Before we get started, what I'd really like to do is clarify something. Um, uh, I'm getting ready to teach you an aiming system. But the number one reason why you're missing shots and pull is not because you're aim, it's because of your stroke. When a player comes to my level one course, their stroke is usually 25% or less correct. Now I take it to over 90% correct by day three, and that's every student every time. In fact, um, I have students now that are wanting to take lessons from me uh, via Zoom because that way they don't have to travel to Goodyear, Arizona. Uh, so, you know, I'm recently uh, done a student in New Zealand. I'm gonna be doing one with somebody from England and from uh, Canada. And so it's gonna be a lot of fun being able to teach students from all over the world. But let's say you're somebody that, that could come to Goodyear, Arizona, and you could uh, come and let me help you with your stroke. You'll come in at whatever level you are as far as your stroke goes, but you'll walk out with a 90% perfect stroke by day three. Now I'll show you how significant this is. It, it, let's say right now, uh, av and we're talking average amateur, you know, 75% of their misses is stroke, only 25% is miss aim. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and we'll say that you're uh, the best player in the world, uh, touring pro. Now it, it's over 90% of your misses is stroke and only less than 10% is aim because you know, professionals are world-class aimers. They don't miss aim. So when they miss a shot, it's usually their stroke also. So what I would like to, I like to clarify this because let's say that you're uh, learning Shane's system and you're working on it and you're just not getting the results that you expect to get. And, uh, or maybe you're watching other, other people's videos and you're saying, how come uh, I don't get the results that those people on the, on the video are getting. Well, one of the reasons is, is the person on the video has probably practiced and mastered that particular system. And number two is, is maybe the person in the video may have a better stroke than yours. So if you have a, a really good stroke and you have a really good aiming system, you're not gonna miss very many balls. Uh, if you think about Shane, Shane's one of the best players in the world. He has one of the best strokes in the world. Uh, he also has one of the best aiming systems in the world. Well, you know, it, when you have a great stroke, you have a great aiming system, you're just not going to miss very many balls. That's just all there is to it. So anyway, if you're having any trouble with this uh, aiming system or any other aiming systems, uh, then uh, basically uh, give some con consideration of, of coming to Goodyear, Arizona, or uh, uh, setting up a, a, a Zoom uh, lesson and give me a chance to help you because uh, that's, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help pl uh, players play better pool. Okay, let's get going. Uh, to get started, uh, what I'd like to do is clarify some things that a lot of uh, uh, people email me on and had a lot of questions. And so I'd like by, to, to clarify the shots that are really not covered in, in Shane's system. Uh, let's say you have a relatively straight in shot, okay? I, 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 I find it easier just to shoot the straight in shots or something less than 10 degrees, uh, kind of like you always have. You know, just aim, aim at the base of the, uh, of the object ball that's gonna be perfectly straight in and just go slightly over one side or the other, you know, to fine tune your aim. Now, once you get up to about a 10, uh, uh, 10 degree angle, you can go to Shane's system. Likewise, if you can see, I have a real uh, thin cut on the two ball uh, to go to the corner. And uh, you, you, once you get up to well over about, you know, 45, 46 degrees, then uh, you're gonna need to switch to an edge to edge. And so what you're gonna end up doing is aiming the edge of your cue ball to the edge of your object ball. So your eyes, will be like right here. Now your stick will be in the middle of your cue ball. Hopefully you're not using left or right um, and getting deflection. 
but uh, you're going to take your eyes over here and you're going to focus on the edge of your object ball and that's called the edge to edge aiming method so uh, just to clarify uh, if you're less than 10 degrees or practically straight in you're going to go to basically your conventional aim for those kind of shots or if you're uh, something more than 40 45 degrees and then are really really thin cut then you're going to go from the edge of the cue ball to the edge of the object ball to make sure that you uh, make a proper shot and uh, that's going to increase your accuracy if you will look at these angles these are your exit angles of your object ball uh, you know now they Actual angle when you collide might be a little different because of collision induced throw, but this is the angle that is truly going to the pocket. So you can take a look at some of these. Um, now, as I explain this, I'm going to be explaining what part of the ferrule that you're lining up at the edge of the object ball. So you're going to be always aiming at the edge of the object ball with a different part of your ferrule but you're gonna be putting your cue stick dead center on the ball. Hopefully you're not gonna be using left or right English because that's gonna change everything. So uh, hit a center ball on your cue ball and you're always gonna be aiming at the edge of the object ball with a different part of your ferrule. And uh, this is to dramatize your ferrule in a, in, a, in, a, in a big sense so you can tell what's going on, okay? So this is, uh, what I'm going to do is, as I shoot each one of these shots, uh, I'm going to be uh, moving my cue stick to point out what part of the ferrule is lined up with the outside edge of the ball. Okay, so that would be the left edge. Then we're going to go in um, about a quarter, and uh, that's going to be the next shot, which is a two. And then we're going to uh, aim the three, and that's going to be the center of the ferrule is going to be lined up with the edge of the object ball. Now on this four, we're working our way toward the right-hand side, okay? So depend on what what your terminology is, that could be you know uh, uh, you know a fourth or something like that. Now this is when you're aiming the the um, right edge to of the ferrule to the edge of the ball. Okay, and that's a five. That's a five on this side, and then you'll do a five on the other side also. Same thing, same degrees, uh, protractored out. Okay. Uh, and there is your your ferrule once again, you know. And so same thing. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now you notice that the balls are reversed now, because you know that's a uh, probably a 10 degree angle, you know. And and uh, this is going to be the same exact thing, only in reverse, you know. So depending on what side of the object ball you're shooting. Okay. So now we're going to the, the number three. And this is going to be the center of the ferrule to the edge of the ball. Okay. And then we're going to be hitting maybe um, a quarter of our tip, uh, you know, on the edge of the ball on this shot. Okay. And on this next one, we're going to be lining up the, the uh, left edge of the uh, ferrule to the ed edge of the object ball. And that's pretty much uh, what this system is. It's just lining up different parts of your ferrule, uh, to, and, but you're always aiming at the edge of the object ball that you're shooting at, okay? So I uh, really hope that this has uh, clarified a few things, made things a little bit more simple. I've had a lot of comments. I've had a lot of uh, students call me and ask me about this aiming system. And I think it is a really, really good aiming system uh, if a person has a really good stroke. Uh, most of the players that have given me really positive feedback and have decided to use this system, uh, the, uh, most of them have a very, very good stroke, and it works well for them. So, so if this don't work for you after you work at it for a while, then uh, I'm afraid the culprit's going to be that you just don't have a good stroke because uh, this is a very, very, very accurate uh, system once you get used to it. 
So anyway, I want to appreciate all of you for watching my video. And please always like and subscribe and have a nice day.